mainly going to be talking about my hair. I know a lot of you have been asking how I achieved this hair color and it honestly was really, really easy. But I will say that it took me a while. It was a process. It wasn't the type of thing where I was like, okay, I'm brown or brunette today and tomorrow I'm going to be light golden haired. No, not at all. This was like a month, a month and a half process. And the reason why it took me so long and I wanted to do it that way is because one, I didn't want my hair to be super, super damaged. And two, I didn't feel like spending a ton of money to get it done because I'm cheap like that. I knew I could do it myself. I really felt like I couldn't describe it well enough to a hairdresser to where she could just like give me exactly what I wanted so I was like you know what no one knows it better than how I want it so I was like I'm just gonna try and do it myself so that's what I'm gonna do today is talk to you guys about how I got my hair this color I don't know if the lighting is making it like washing it out I can't really tell in this viewfinder my light is so bright but I'm basically just going to talk to you about how I did this and exactly how I did it, basically. I didn't have a chance to show you guys because I did this to my hair a long time ago, so if you wanted like a demo, I'm sorry this video isn't gonna be a demonstration. You might wanna exit out of this video now. It's just gonna be me talking to you one-on-one -on -one and showing you exactly what products that I use to achieve this hair color. Okay, so first things first. I've had my hair ombre before. I did that last summer, and ombre is where your roots are really dark and then it transitions to a gradient lighter. You guys know what that is. I did that last summer, and I didn't wanna do it it again and I was just tired of it but I did want to go lighter and brighter for the summer you know whenever it's the summertime you want to feel brighter and fresher and I feel like this color just brightens my face a lot so that's what I wanted to do but I didn't want to go in my hair was really dark before this and I just didn't want to go in right away and try and put bleach in my hair to try and lighten it myself so what I did was I went to a salon school and I know that sounds scary because you're going to kids or not kids you're going to women who aren't professionals yet they're training on your hair but at the same time if you think about it it's two people one is a professional she's a teacher and then the other one is wanting to be a hairdresser she's gonna want to do good she wants to make you happy so if anything she's gonna be extra careful and talk to her teacher if she's not sure blah 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 you know you get what I'm saying it's not a scary experience so I know a lot of people think like schools heck no I'm not gonna have that girl she don't know what she's doing but I'm telling you if you are going to do something yourself like me but you just want the first process to be done by someone else I would recommend going to a school because this only cost me $20 going to the school. I asked the girl to do balayage highlights throughout the bottom of my hair. I didn't want highlights at all touching my roots so I was like I want balayage ombre ish highlights and she basically just took my little pieces of my hair like this and like brushed it and that's what balayage is. It's where they like brush the hair dye from the top point of your hair and then they like brush it down. I'm sorry I'm not a professional I, pro I could have explained it wrong but if not I'll put the definition of it right here and how you spell it that way whenever you take it to your hairdresser you know exactly what to ask for but that's all I asked her to do and that's what she did because I still wanted brown in my hair I still wanted it to be like highlighty but more so like a golden -y color because like whenever you ask for highlights they tend to put it in like strippy if you don't show them what you don't want. So I definitely showed them a picture of what I did want, which was this. And I love the way this looks. It's exactly what I wanted. And then I showed her a picture of this, which is exactly what I don't want. And I didn't want like skunky looking highlights. And not that it doesn't look cute on other people like Bunny. I love her hair. It looks so good on her. It fits her personality. It just fits her. But I didn't want it to be like that. I didn't want it to be strippy, streaky, chunky, like old Kelly Clarkson <laughs> highlights. I didn't want that. So I definitely showed her, look, this is what I want, this is what I don't want. So definitely bring in a picture of what you don't want your hair looking like. I showed her that picture and I'm like, just balayage highlights all throughout the bottom and I want some in the front too. And mind you, my hair was black so there was no way that my hair was going to get really light right away just because I had that coarse Asian hair and our hair is so hard to get that non-brassy, nice, ashy color. I know you Asian girls know what I'm talking about so that's why it's a process. But some people are blessed with hair that just you know dies really easy and you can do it in one day then go you girl but not me not me <laughs> so yeah that's what I did and that's all that I asked for is balayage highlights through the bottom and in the front and if you look at my hair it's like lighter in the front and then it's like darker in the back and that's because I wanted it that way I wanted the fronts of my face to like frame my face like to be brighter 
and the rest of it just to be a light brown. I didn't want my whole head blonde, like a blondy, lighty color. I just wanted it exactly like I have it now. So first step, I went to a salon school and asked them to balayage highlight the bottom of my hair. Then the next thing that I did, I waited like a week or so, and I got the frost and tip, you know, the one that comes with the cap. It looks like this. And basically all I did was mix it up and take a toothbrush, I know, a toothbrush, and I brushed it in the bottoms of my hair exactly like they did at the school. So if if you do get your hair balayage highlighted, you can just w watch them carefully how they did it and just copy that. And that's exactly what I did, honestly. I didn't use foil or anything like that. So I just took random pieces of my hair and brushed it like that all throughout my hair. Honestly, it's it's super easy. You know exactly where you want the color, so just brush it on there nicely. You know, like don't like be like dee -dee 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 crazily because then that's what it's going to look like. So just take your time and put it exactly what you want and make sure you like brush it up a little bit so it like basically fades into a lighter color and it's not just a blunt straight line like that. So don't put the bleach on your hair and like put it in a blunt straight line. Make sure you like balayage it, like you brush it. And if you Google the word balayage or YouTube it, you can see someone like what exactly what it looks like. And it's super easy, that's what I did. So that's all I did, I put it in my hair up to here, like you know, do the ombre effect. I just like put the lighter pieces where I wanted it and then I washed it out. That was it with that highlighting kit. And then I waited maybe a week or two later and then I bought the, I think it's by L'Oreal, the L'Oreal Ombre Hair Kit. And you honestly, you could have done that for the second step. I should have just bought that instead, but I already had the Frosting Glow Kit. So whichever one works better for you than then use that one. But the Ombre Kit is honestly easier just because it comes with that brush. So I got that kit, used the brush, and did the same exact thing. I just brushed it on the tips, you know, like went through my hair like this. And I parted my hair the way that I usually part it, like this. And then I just brush it in through that. But I also part my hair in other ways. So I parted my hair in, in, in the other ways that I um, wear it when it's in front of my face. And then I put some there too. And then I just moved it back over. Nothing happened. It didn't transfer or anything. It came out great. So hopefully it'll work out the same for you. But that's honestly what I did. And yeah, I just used that ombre kit and put it on the very tips. And then I moved some um, higher in the front. I put my the highest color to be lighter right by my eyebrows. Everything else I keep um, the light brown that I use. And I suffer from gray hairs. I know it's crazy, you don't believe me, but my root color is like a shade or two darker than this. It's like a light black color. And I have to dye my roots because of the grays and stuff. And this is what I use for my roots and stuff, if that helps you. So, but that's pretty much it. It's really easy. First I went to the salon, got the balayage in the bottom, then I got two highlighting kits. It took two times to highlight it, but I just switched it out in a month so my hair didn't get fried and just brushed it in with a toothbrush and then the ombre kit, used the ombre brush that came with it and that's it and it's, this is what I got. It's really, really easy guys. Just take your time with it. It's not hard. I know it's kind of scary because whenever you're in there, you're like, I don't know if this is going to turn out right, but this is what it turned out to be. And my hair is really hard to color, so if your hair is not hard to color, then I feel like this would be easy for you. And if you're a professional and this is like, no, don't do it, I'm sorry, it worked for me. That's just what I'm talking about is what worked for me, how I did it. A lot of you guys asked how I got my hair this color, so that's honestly all I did. And yeah, I pretty much think I answered all the questions, but if I left something out, just leave it down below. And I'll also fill the info bar down exactly how I did it, because this was probably confusing. I'm not a very good explainer. I'm like all over the place whenever I think of something. I'm like, oh, I forgot that. You know, I just like jump on whatever thought comes in my head. So yeah, if I forgot something, I'll leave it down below. But that pretty much completes this video. If you have any questions about it, then just leave it down below, like I said. And yeah, thank you so much for sitting through this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.